of Singapore. Up against Xiu Qi, twice a finalist at the French Open and winner of this title in 2016. Well, as far as the men's singles draw was uh, concerned, uh, we lost Victor Axelsson, the defending champion, had to retire injured in the very first round. And uh, Pranoy, the number seven seed, uh, didn't uh, turn up here in France because of injury. So uh, we only started with seven seeds. Um, we were down to six seeds, three in each half by quarterfinal stage. Six seeds and six different nationalities. And here, the two players, Lo Ken Yu, the former world champion, leading out the two. Trying to create history today. Lo Ken Yu, no player from Singapore has ever contested a semi-final at the French Open. And that's across all five disciplines. And I'm talking about during the Super Series and World Tour era. Well, this will be a fifth meeting between these two players of the previous four. Shi Yu Chi has won three of them, including at the quarterfinal stage, the same as the quarterfinal stage here today, last week at the Danish Open. And Shi Yu Chi went through to the semi final with a two game win. So, did Shi Yu Chi? choose the serve steam yes he uh, won the coin toss and chose to serve and Lo stayed on the uh, far side of the court thank you so two very physical players Lo Ken Yu, 26 years of age born in Penang in Malaysia uh, but gained citizenship to Singapore in February 2015 Highest ranking has been three. That was for eight consecutive weeks from the beginning of November last year, but currently number nine. Played 24 ranking tournaments within the last 12 months. Reached two finals this year. Now, he played the left-handed Christo Popov in the first round, the French player. Came from 11-15 down, promptly winning 10 of 13 points. Then beat Ang Kar Long of Hong Kong, China. Again, in the second game, he was down, 14-18 down, and eventually won on his third match point. Shi Yu Chi is 27 years of age, from Nangtong in Jiangsu province. He's a little taller, 183. Well, they've got him down at 184, but he's uh, just about six foot, just over. Went down three places on the world ranking this week to number seven. And he has been world number two, 52 weeks in total across three different spells. Beat Nat Nguyen in the first round, who replaced Wang Su Wei, who withdrew. And then Anna's Antonsen in two straight games. So he's looked in very good form so far in this tournament and remember he had a semi-final last week in Denmark and both these players incidentally have been in two finals this year Shi Yu Chi as we look at our court officials Ampa Chachian from Iran and for Shi Yu Chi he reached the final of the All England Championships and got a silver medal at the Asian Games in the Asian Games losing out to his teammate Li Shi Feng. Sun Jun on the coaching bench for the Chinese player and Kelvin Ho on the left as we look at them for Lo Ken Yu. Hasn't won a title Lo Ken Yu since winning the World Championships in December 2021 in Huelva in Spain. Been in four finals since, but not won any of them.
Available to us, but the line judge on the near side of the court, looking at that sideline, made a call of out. <laughs> we have line judges at either end of the court. He wasn't supposed to make a call, but interesting that he called differently. Yeah. Well, Shiyu Chi has been remarkably consistent in recent tournaments. This is his seventh consecutive quarterfinal or better dating back to the Korean Open Super 500 event. That's impressive, isn't it, Steen? It is impressive. Uh, and, and yet I'm a little bit uncertain on where, where, where is he actually Sorry, here, because in the Asian Games team One, tournament, he two. lost all his matches and then went on to contest the final. Yeah. Um, last week in Denmark, he looked really good and was leading in the semi-final against his compatriot, Beng Hong Yang and then ended up losing in straight games after that. So, and, and he was in, in dire straits against uh, Kanta von Rangcharun after being dominant in the first game. So he can go off the boil once yeah. in a while. Yeah. I thought he was Three, impressive one. against Anna's Antonsen yesterday. Again, I had my beady eye on it. It wasn't on our court, but I no. was just keeping an eye on what was happening. And we know then when, when he when when his game is sort of on a roll, then he's very very accurate, good uh, shot quality, hard to score against. Two, Yeah, good fast shot from Loken. You just expand Three, on that, four. Esteen. Hard to score against. Does that yeah. imply that he has a really good defence? Yes, I think he has a, a good defence, but but it's sort of like uh, based on the shot quality in the previous shot. So he never really gets himself in in uh, big big problems. Um, Ready to play. Oh yeah. Could say that this is Shiyuchi version three. The first Four, version three. Um, was um, really good as well, and then he uh, suffered an angular injury against Anas Antons in, in um, Indonesia Open. Was it um, 2019, I think? And um, that never really. Uh, got fixed when he came back. Five, he was still three. struggling and was a shadow of himself. But then during the COVID, he, um, I don't know if he went through surgery again, but, but he got a much, much better rehabilitation and uh, sort of got his game built up again. Time is over. Four, five. Way long in the back line. Service over. Yeah, it was in Indonesia four. 2019 against Dennis Antonsen. Yeah. And he rolled his angle badly.
Oh, my goodness, that didn't miss by much. In fact, I think Loka knew was considering challenging this. Yeah, many people would have challenged it. Let's have a look. Oh, I definitely would have challenged. My goodness. I think it was wide, but it, um, but I think a lot of players would have challenged. The fact Seven, that he didn't challenge six. scores uh, six all in the, the first game, and I think you can attach sort of a value to challenges. The, the challenges that are most valuable is the ones that comes at decisive moments in exactly. games. Exactly. Yep. Finds the back line. And it's Eight, good control six. from Xiu Qi. Loken you won the world championships, Steen. He he seemed to come from nowhere. He won his first uh, ever world tour event in Saarbrücken, and it was a 500 event that year, and uh, then won the world championships. Uh, but he, we were just astonished by his speed around the court when yeah. he first emerged as a, a challenger for the very best. I'm not sure he has that same speed now. He's fast, don't get me yeah, wrong. Or yeah. well, maybe we've yeah. just got so used to this, the top speed of these <laughs> top players. Yeah, and, and, and people have learned how to sort of neutralize it perhaps also. But but it's um it's an interesting point you're making there. Um, I think I think he might, he, he, he might have gained some um, some weight and some muscles. We've discussed it earlier. Even if you gain muscles, you still have to carry them around court. Short. Yes. Well, he's challenging that. New challenges called in. Well, smiles at his coach. Yeah, his coach says, I think it was in, mate. Looks up at the giant screen. Yeah, smiles in. Yeah. My goodness me. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I would still Service rather over. have challenged the first one you suggested, Jill. Yeah. On the sideline, that was closer. Play. Oh, yes. That's a brilliant shot, still. Yeah. And that was when he won the world Nine. championships. The oh. playing conditions were very slow in Huelva. It was cold in the arena. Shuttles were slow. We were sitting with blankets on, commentating, I recall. Oh, yeah. And uh, the only one who could put it away was looking you because he was over. so fast. Ten, yeah. nine. Interval. So it's a two-point advantage for the two-time finalist Shi Uchi here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. Yeah. 
要求也是半场球，啊，主要是再高一点，你要是推掉，就再再高一点，再高一点，要不然就是回抢，对吧？啊，其他都没问题。然后单分区发他球，小心他这样的回搓，搓的质量很高。我发他二号区，或者发硬一点，然后等准备准备他推直线，啊，其他都没问题。啊，打起来！这后场球也是该抓抓，哎，坚决一点，啊，可以的啊。嗯。Eleven nine, play. So play resumes. A two-point advantage to Xu Qi. Back level. That's a careless error from Xiu Qi. Yeah, we uh, we discussed it yesterday. This where I suggested that um, a lot of the players that have played a lot in the team tournaments and gone far in the other tournaments that there's a certain amount or a, a large amount of um, mental as well as physical fatigue, and uh, I think sometimes we see that here as well with uh, with Xiu Qi and. Um, Interesting to see what happens if uh, Loken Yu is able to steal this first game here. Oh, he took that early. My goodness me. I think we can safely say he read that. Before this, Xi Yuqi had a chance to push from the uh, front court where Looking Yu defended the body well, and that, that was sort of like, that was a little bit of a careless shot, and immediately the initiative in the rally changed. Yes. Time is over. 13, 12. Well, the expression on the face mm. of Loken Yu told the story there. Desperately close, but close isn't good enough. Yeah. There, there's no deception on Loken Yu's service return. 15-12. That means that he, against the players that are good at uh, reading the game, anticipating, then he doesn't get the advantage that he could have gotten if there's a little deception on it. Thank you. And I guess for your taste, too many forehand uh, returns. Oh, way <laughs> too many forehands. I mean, <laughs> Way too many. I've taken a pill here before the match to uh, <laughs> calm yourself <yeah>. down. <laughs> <laughs> but the forehand, you, you, sometimes you need to play the forehand, but there needs to be a little bit of deception on it once in a while. Otherwise, the opponent can just walk to the place where, you, where you're hitting it. Nice. Much better. Yeah. There's the deception. Before the next 15. shot, so you want to see that sort of a shot oh. on the return of serve. Yes. Just long. Service 
over. 16, 13. Yeah, that's not a lovely shot. Over. You see, if, if your opponent serves 16. out wide to you, you have to play the forehand. You have turn. to play the forehand, and it's easier to make a little deception out wide. Yeah. Same over. 17, 14. He's going to be alert now, low, because I think she or she finds some extra energy now here towards the end of the first game. That's well played. Yeah. 16, Using his speed to close down the net. Look, he's just hovering, hovering, waiting for it, and then ready to pounce. Good shot. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And back level. Well taken again, my goodness me. How dare I say he wasn't as quick as he, <laughs> as he was when he won the world title. That's lightning fast. Into the lead at this crucial moment. Oh, that's going wide. I, I, he, he's not able to uh, muster up these rallies, uh, Shi Yuchi. If he loses this first game, I think the air could go out of the balloon, just like we saw in Denmark against Ben Hong Young. Well, well, it remains to be seen. Yeah. Well, this is extraordinary. 20 game points. Six 17. straight points from 14 17 adrift to game point opportunities. Three of them at 20 17. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Seven straight points to close out the opening game. Loken Yu of First Singapore. Loken Yu 21-17. That was remarkable. Having trailed pretty much the entirety of the opening game. He springs to the finish line. 你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看你看
can gain low ball play. So can low capitalize on uh, service over. His great One love. finish to the first game. simply was too far behind that shot there it wasn't really long from um, Shiuchi mm, that's pushed long can't take your foot off the pedal just because you've won the opening game. Can't relax at all. No. It's going wide. Yeah. My left. Save is over. One, three. Been very close indeed. Beautiful. That is a wonderful handle. What do you think happened at the end of that opening game, Steam? Was it literally that Lo Ken Yu just upped his pace and up to the intensity? Yeah. And, and he hit some good shots, and, and Xiu Qi wasn't able to follow pace. Yeah, oh. that's good. Five, the four, please. Five, two. Did you see that? Yeah. Think. Yeah. Advice from the coach. Should be standard advice. Yeah, of course. That's oh, a good shot. That's a very good shot. That's twice in, what was it, three or four rallies? Played that one. Outright winner. Uh, I, um, me I wonder if the drift has changed a little bit because Lowe is not putting any pressure on his shots. That's a terrible service return. Seven, three. Now that's one he could have played the backhand. He should have played the backhand. Yeah. <laughs> According to me. Oh my goodness, how did he get that back? But look at the way Xiu Qi is, is moving around the court. It's not like you're sort of ready for fight. He, he's trying his best to get to it, but, but that recovery and then to the next one. So it, it looks to me like he's sort of... Um, I'm about, about to uh, run on an empty tank. Wow. 
what? He's still collecting points. Yeah. Service over. Eight, five. No? One of three men singles players to have won World Tour titles at all five levels, so that includes the World Tour finals. <laughs> the other two, Kento Momota and Victor Axelson. So she or she has been a big achiever. Yeah. Yeah. Service over. Six, didn't he beat Momota in, one, in that final he won at the World Tour finals? I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. It was 2018. Beat him in two straight games, yeah. scored 11. Oh, Oof, dear me, that was halfway over. down the net. Nine, six. Always landed in. Yeah. That's a great shot from Shi Yu Chi. That's a tame shot from the former world champion, Lo Ken Yu. And it's a very healthy five-point advantage here in the second game in favor of the former champion, Shi Yu Chi. Did he miss that? The attempted kill there from Shi Yu Chi. Bounced the shuttle on the top of the tape and it fell back his side. Take a look at this. Yeah. That's extraordinary, isn't it? miss on the resumption of play after the mid-game interval may just play on his mind alert there she who cheat backhand clear going that far Eight. along After the yeah, good umpiring. Telling the coach not to interfere with play. Umpire Jachian from Iran. Step there to attack. Looking you. Yeah, 
And if he can minimize his error rate, then the good news is that he's only uh, three points behind. afford that I think most of the fans would love to see a third game here she she's got to cut out some of these errors ah, that's a lovely angle from Loke New. and it's a great example of the um, sort of ups and downs in Loki News game where He's going so much for the shots that sometimes it's errors, but when it's not errors, then it's very often winners. Yeah. Thank that you. makes him difficult to, uh, to play against. Short. Missed it. That looked to me as if he ran out of patience. Yeah. 13, 12. Was he up 11 6? He was 11 6 at the mid game interval. Wow. So 7 of 8 points. Longest rally, 24 shots, would you believe it? That's nothing, is it? Not in nowadays many singles. to met Shi Uchi was um, playing Kantafon Rangcharon in, in the second game after she had won the first Kantafon call for medical assistance and that sort of changed the momentum in the game and uh, Rangcharon went up considerably in the third game and then Shi Uchi called for medical assistance and uh, turned it around again to set up the meeting with Lo Kin Yu. So he might be uh, carrying some sort of um, injury that doesn't prevent him from playing, but perhaps prevent him from playing uh, to his highest level. Good no play. Oh, brilliant! Oh, sensational! Is it in long? Would you believe it? Look at 15, that. 13. He only had to get it over an inch, Yochi. There was a wide open court. And look, he's played it way long over the back line. Well, that will be devastating for the former champion. This is a mistake by, by Lowe to sort of trying to up the pace in the game without being uh, on top in the rally. That might accidentally uh, trigger Shiuchi to uh, get back in this uh, second game. Well, he's still in it, but he's lost a lot of points recently. Wow. Good defensive shot from Loken you on his backhand side at full stretch in the dive 16, position 14. got it to the back of the court and look how quickly he was up again and ready for the kill look at that my goodness the flexibility and agility of these top players it's just incredible 
Just long as the back line. Service over. 15, 16. Thank you. So quick up again. Yeah. After that diving defense, Shiuchi. Nothing wrong with that at all. One point, the deficit. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do not get any four. better than that. That shuttle sat on the top of the tape before trickling over. Look at this. Whoa! It's true. Amazing. He's defeating Tai Shi Ying and now has the best net shot of the day. She had it in the early session. Very similar. Brilliant. Threaded it down the line. And Shi Yu Chi goes back into the lead in this second game. Super accurate on the return of serve for that tight spinning net shot. You've got to admit, Stephen, even though that was a forehand, that was good. It was good. 17 all. Nice. Yeah, he can just watch it, uh, Shiuchi, there's nothing to do. Two points, three points away from creating a little bit of history. No player from Singapore has, in, has ever contested a semi-final at the French Open. And would you believe it could happen twice today because a mixed doubles pair, the married couple of Terry He and Jessica Tan are on the adjoining court in the mixed doubles quarterfinal. Oh, oh, that's yeah, a that's great a <laughs> Lovely, lovely play from Shiuchi. That's what it takes to outmaneuver. Look in you. 19. That's where he needed Victor Axelson's legs to get that extra few centimeters. Yes. Great lift from there as well. And his back level. Chi U Chi playing a magnificent rally there. Look at that tight spinning net shot. Then the disguise drop. And the former champion back level. 19 all. Will it be a game point or a match point? No. This next rally will answer that question. 
19 old. You're confident. Play. The answer to my question is it's a match point. A match point. 20 for Loka and you. 19. Yeah. And he's done it. Reverses the result of the quarter final a week ago. Well, ever since I said Logan Yu wasn't looking as quick as he was when he won the world title in December 2021, he's absolutely delighted in proving me wrong. A wonderful display. And through to the semi final. This, the final rally. Gosh, he was quick onto that. And look at the delight for the Singaporean. A little bit of history made as the first player to reach a semi final here at the French Open from Singapore. 21-17, 21-19, the margin of his victory. A match lasting 41 minutes. Wonderful, wonderful men's singles quarterfinal. Well, coming up next, we return to men's doubles. Alfie and Anadianto, the number one seeds, up against the inform Astrup and Rasmussen of Denmark.
welcome back to the Ren on quarterfinals day here. It's the second session of the day, and we're about to embark on our next match, the men's doubles. It's the former world number ones, but number one seeds Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto. Up against the Danish pair, who's very much been informed, the number seven seeds Kim Astrup and Anna's Rasmussen.